All right, everyone, let's try this again. Hello, and welcome to another Fantasy Grounds game prep stream. And this is for Fantasy Grounds Unity. And I hope everybody has had a good week. And today, in today's prep stream, I'm going to be resizing some maps and adding the grid to them. So it looks like everything is good to go. It looks like the stream is up and running. So this is a uh, session number 12 for game prep. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask your questions in chat and I will answer them once I get to a good stopping point and I will answer your questions to the best of my ability. So but I hope everybody's had a great week, and uh, it's already Friday already. It, the, the week has just flown by. And uh, what I'm going to be doing today is, like I mentioned, I'm going to be resizing images. And I use a program called Paint.net. And it is a, it's a free image altering uh, piece of software. I do a lot of image resizing. Uh, I do a lot of token manipulations. Um, I used to make maps with paint.net, but now I don't have to do that anymore because of the awesome tools that we have inside of Fantasy Grounds Unity. So uh, yeah, paint.net is free. I'll put a link in the comments section down below as to where you can find it. Uh, you don't need to pay anything for it. There's been a couple of uh, scam attempts throughout the years with uh, Paint.net, but yeah, you don't have to pay anything for it. It's got a great community to where uh, you can download extensions and you can add more options and image altering features to the software itself. Uh, I probably have at least 100 to 200 different uh, extensions that I've downloaded and added it in there. So I have a lot of, a lot of features I can do a lot with Paint.net. Uh, I can't do what Photoshop can do, obviously, but yeah, paint.net is still pretty strong. So here are some images now that I've got uh, paint.net up and running. Uh, I will go ahead and kind of explain what I'm going to do. So I, I don't like to struggle with trying to get a grid to line up on a map. So for years now, I have been resizing images to 100 pixels by 100 pixels per grid and you know there's just a little bit of math involved and what i do is i'll count how many grid squares are across on the top from left to right and then i'll also count how many grid squares are you know basically from top to bottom and there are some uh there are some uh grids software uh out there that you can get to do this for you but some of them i've i found to be a little clunky and inaccurate so i just take the couple of extra seconds to just manually count how many squares are across and how many squares are up and down and then i just multiply that by 100 because i like 100 by 100 pixel squares for all of my maps for fantasy grounds so and but the first thing that i like to do is i like to look at the at the outer edge of the map and as you can see, I'm kind of zooming in here. You can see that the, the square, each square is perfect, right? There's no overhang, nothing like that. So I'm going to get a great, I'm going to get a very accurate image. Now the, the bottom looks good as well, the right hand side. But as you can kind of see over here on the on the left hand side of the image, see how the grid ends here and there's a little bit of overhang? Well, that can kind of goof up your that can actually goof up the size of your image. So, you know, I know that this is what three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, twelve, three, four, fifteen, six, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four squares across. So that's twenty-four hundred pixels, all right? But it's it's not a perfect square on the left hand side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to crop this because I don't want this overhang here. 
because it's going to mess up my grid. So uh, I'm just going to my uh, my rectangular my rectangular select tool, which is like the cropping tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take this image. And I want to basically get rid of that overhang. See how I'm getting rid of the overhang. And when I zoom in, you'll see that I've gotten rid of all that extra overhang. So when I crop it up here with the crop tool, it will it will re-render re it because it's such a large file. I think it's like a 3,000 by 5,000 pixel file. So see how it got rid of all that excess on the side. So now I'll have a perfect uh, map for the most part. In fact, I see a little bit of overhang up top as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll get rid of this top couple of pixels on the top. And I, I kind of see a little bit here on the bottom as well. So now that I've got it zoomed in a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and crop this. So, so now when I crop it and it re-renders, all of the, the outer grids should be perfect now. And there should be, oh yeah, that's perfect now. Look at that. None on the bottom, none on the top. The right was pretty good to begin with, so I didn't have to worry about that. But as you can see, the left is now perfect and it, there's no, you know, overhang so now what i want to do is resize this image and it's 24 across so that's going to be 2400 i think this might be 3000 or 30 down so let's just kind of double check three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 20, 30. So we're good to go. So it's 24 by 30. I want to resize the image, and I can do that just by going to my image and resizing it. So yeah, this is a massive image. <laughs> I don't want to put an image that big in Fantasy Ground. So I want to do the width of 2400. And then I want to do the height of 3000. And when I hit OK, it will uh, render it again and it'll shrink the size. And you'll see down here, depending on what you know program you're using. Yeah, there you go. So now it's 2400 by 3000. And this should definitely just the grid will lay down perfectly the first time. So I want to save this and I'm going to, uh, this is the uh, forest moon. So I'm going to call this uh, forest moon one and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So now I've got forest moon one, I'm going to save it. There you go. And now I'm just going to kind of do the other images that I have as well. So I've got six images that I'm going to do. And, you know, there's this is a forest moon image as well. So the, the flip mats have two, one on each side. So this is uh, forest moon one. This is forest moon two. And then I have a uh, uh, crashed starship. And this is crashed Starship One. And then the other side is the interior part of the crashed Starship. So that's, it's really nice how Paizo does these maps. And then the last one is a giant Starship. And this is one side and this is another side. So I don't think these are the same Starship. But I think it just gives you a couple of different uh, giant starship layouts. So, so let's uh, kind of check all these images. I, I like to zoom in because I, I like to get it as accurate as I can because it's just less time I'm spending messing around with uh, adding a grid. So see, yeah, see how this has overhang? I'm going to trim all this stuff off. But the second... Forest Moon, that looked good. That was really good. So that this should also be 24 across and 30 down. So I will go ahead and resize this image now. Yeah, it's a perfect 7200. So it's got the same aspect ratio. So I'm going to do 2400 for width, 3000 for height. I'm going to resize it. And then I'm going to name this map and save it as a JPEG as a uh, 
let's see yep saved as jpeg and i'm going to call this forest moon 2 and then i'll i'll save it to uh, my desktop because that's where i'm putting all of these maps so i can easily add those into my assets panel so all right hmm. let's see uh, yeah i definitely need to do some trimming here looks like the right side's okay but the left side top and bottom need a little bit of trimming so i'm just gonna go ahead and do this i think that might actually be pretty good yeah so there we go so i'm gonna re-render this image and you can see this overhang on the left will disappear there you go and it is gone so i'm gonna resize this now let's see oh looks like there's some more at the top Ooh, yeah so let's there we go that's that's that we'll crop it all right so now I'm going to resize, let's see how many, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 16, 17, 1, 2, 24, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 7, 28, 2930 so this is also going to be 2400 by 3000 it takes a little, it takes a couple seconds to do but hey trust me this is well worth the little bit of time investment i i, I promise you so this is crashed starship one so i'll save this to my desktop as a jpeg Crashed Starship One. There we go. All right, then I'll check this one out. This one, I think this one kind of looked okay. Yeah, this one looks perfect. I don't have to do anything here. So this should be 24 by 3,000 as well. So there's 2,400, 3,000. I'm going to resize that and we'll save it. So this is crashed Starship 2. Segment to the uh, desktop. And now to our giant Starship map 1 and 2. I think these may be pretty good too. Yeah, these look good. I don't have to do any kind of cropping or trimming here. So let's see if these are just... 24 by 32, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23, 4, what's this 27 across? Wow, what a weird number, huh? 27, and then uh, let's see, 27, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 30, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. So this is actually 100 shorter. So 27 by uh, 39. So that's that's weird. That's why I count them because <laughs> I've had several times in the past to where I just automatically assume they're twenty four by thirty, like most of the maps are. But uh, yeah, it just didn't uh, didn't work out that way, and then it just totally didn't line up the grid. So all right, so we are good to go there. So we'll save this as a giant starship one. All right. 
And I wonder if this is going to be the same. So let me zoom in and just kind of check out the borders. Uh, left and right looks good. Top looks good. Bottom looks good. Yeah, I like this. Look at I, I like these uh look at these tile, these floor tiles. I like that. I like the uh the shadowing. I don't even think it's shadowing, but I like that design with the uh the tiles. It looks uh looks pretty good. So let's uh let's go ahead and uh get these uh grids counted. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is 27. <laughs> yeah, this is this is uh let me, let me double check that again. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, four, five, six, twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven should be twenty-nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. 15. Nine. All right, so I counted 40 that time. So it, it can't be 40. 1, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Six, seven, twenty-eight. Yeah, thirty-nine. So it's uh, yeah, twenty-seven by thirty-nine. So let's resize this: twenty-seven hundred, thirty-nine hundred. All right. So now I've got six perfectly sized images, and I'm gonna import into Vanessa Grounds Unity. So let me uh, save this as Giant Starship 2. So players, you can see how much invest time investment that your game masters have invested into your game. So, all right, so now I I've got my six images done. I am going to go ahead and open up my assets panel and I want to open up the folder down here and when I open it up a window appears this is where all of my images are going to go and now I just want to start dropping all of these images in here so I'm going to go to my desktop and pull all six of my images and simply drag and drop them into the folder. So, all right, giant starship. I've already got that one in there. So I am going to replace that file. All right, so I've got my six images there. Just close that out, refresh the, uh, the images assets folder and now they'll appear here in my campaign and when i open up the campaign folder here they are so that worked perfectly so let's go ahead and now create i want to send these from the assets panel to my images sidebar button so i just want to go ahead and click on each one of these and create an image record so now that I have sent them from the assets to the images, you'll see that now I have all of my map making tools here and I'm going to start setting grids. So what I'd like to do is just kind of zoom in, right click, go to layers, set a grid and just try to get this in the middle of it. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? So when I zoom out, my grid should be lined up perfectly, and it is. So yeah, that is amazing, and it just saves you so much time. Okay, so I I don't like the the grid being so bright. So what I want to do is uh, I want to kind of 
take the transparency down on the grid itself. So I want to click on the color tool up here. You need to make sure you have the grid tool selection and your map tools. It's the last bar on the right. It looks sort of looks like a uh, tic-tac-toe board there. And then I want to get a tint and then the A is for transparency. And then you can go ahead and just make it as bright or as dim as you want. I'm going to keep it at 120 because I like that. And then hit OK. And now this map is done. Now I can now I can go ahead and in the future as I use these maps, I can, you know, quickly before the session starts, I can go ahead and add any line of sight or, you know, the line of sight occluders, lighting, anything like that, if I want to. So there we go. I'll just kind of lock that map up. And now the crashed Starship One is done and will now appear in my images sidebar button here on the right hand side. And to find that, all I need to do is just select uncategorize and there it is crashed starship it is ready to go it is totally gridded it is perfectly sized 100 by 100 uh, pixel squares so i'm at a good stopping point so let's see uh if you folks have any questions in chat i'll be more than happy to uh answer any of your questions so feel free to uh, ask away so bell how's it going J Rock, how's it going? Malik GM, hello to you, sir. Lone Jedi, what's going on? So Malik is saying uh, I can select it all with Control A. Yeah, I I, I don't do a lot of uh, keyboard shortcuts. I'm I'm a clicker and I'm I'm a mouse pointer kind of guy. <laughs> so I, yeah, I don't I don't use the arrow keys and stuff like that. I I just kind of I'm just old school man. But yeah, I, I could do the control A and, you know, use the errors around the kind of crop and, and, and move it. But yeah, that's definitely good. I mean, if if you are familiar with that, yeah, you could definitely do that. The control shift and control shift X and stuff like that. So I could put it in Fantasy Grounds as is. I could definitely do that, J-Rock, and I could probably get that to line up. But I'm setting, I'm set in my ways, and I've been doing this uh, for Fantasy Grounds for years, and I'm just going to continue to kind of do it this way. So, but I think it's also good to show the users how to resize a map, do the calculations, you know, talk about pixel size in a grid, all that other stuff. But yeah, I'm sure with the the new Fantasy Grounds Unity tools, I'm sure that it would probably line up easily. Maybe have a little problem with Classic, but I, I actually, I took Classic off of my machine. So I'm just all Unity now, so... But yeah, uh, I could I could go ahead and try that here in a little bit towards the end. I'll take one of the uh, I'll take one of the un uncropped images and the resized images and, I, I, and I'll see if it works. It should, but I'm just uh, like I said. I'm just I always do it the same way. So, all right. Let's see. Don't see any other questions. So, Darth, how's it going, Dark Darth? Well, there you go. That's how you resize an image to get it 100 by 100 or 50 by 50 or whatever you like. So, Louis Resendez, hello to you, sir. How's it going, Louis? Welcome. Louis is over on YouTube. Malik, yeah, I totally agree. Everyone should do things uh, what they're comfortable with. You like keyboard shortcuts? Yeah, I'm, I'm just the exact opposite, though. I think it's because, Malik, I have big hands. And I always, I always fat finger the keyboard. So that I think that's probably why I don't use keyboard shortcuts is be, because I have such big hands and sometimes I'll mash four keys at one time. So, yeah. But there's all kinds of different ways to, to do this kind of stuff. I mean, there's, there's programs that actually will you just tell the program how many pixels across and 
what size you want. I got a piece of hair in my mouth. I'm trying to get that piece of hair out of my mouth. Sorry about that. I'm like a cat, like in my hand, trying to get that piece of hair out of my mouth. So, all right. So let's get these other five images done. And then I want to see if I can re, I want to see if I can add a grid to one of the unmodified images. So, all right. So I'm going to go back into my assets and there's a crashed starship too. I'm going to create an image record and I'm going to select the grid and I'm going to add a grid. So I'm going to right click on the map, go to layers, set grid. I like that puddle. That's a nice puddle. The artist that does the pathfind, uh, all of the Starfinder maps, they really do a good job. And that map lined up perfectly as well. We're two for two today, folks. We are two for two. So let's see. I want to adjust this to 120 as well. Yeah, that looks so good. So that map looks good. And you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of the comma. So when you're in play mode and you want to, eh, I just want to see how far I'm away. And I think I'm, I think I want to change the color of my dice. And when you, you know, do that, it changes the color of your uh, draw tool as well. So I want to go to the colors and I want something a little bit, I want something a lot brighter. So let's go with, uh, let's go with this green and then I want to have black numbers. That's cool. I actually have a set of dice that rolls really good. Well, I don't have them anymore. I gave them my son a couple years ago for Christmas, but it was like the first set of Chessex dice that I bought. And uh, it did such a good job for me as a kid. And I gave my son all of my dice, but I think he lost them. I, I hope he didn't because that's like I wanted him to have them. But all right. So see how it says 55 feet as comma. I, I think I'm going to change it. So I'm going to take it the grid and then I'm going to get rid of that and just type in feet. So there you go. Now it says 55 feet. So I want to do this for the, uh, the first map as well. So let's, uh, close this out. Let's go back to images and I want to go to the crash starship one, unlock it really quick, go to the grid. And then I just want to do type in feet and then lock it back up. Now I'll go to image number three. So, which is a force moon one. Create an image. Oh, that's such a pretty map, isn't it? I love these maps. This is a forest moon. So let's go to layers, set a grid. Here we go. Wow, look at that. Look at that just line up perfectly. I mean, that is just... I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> now let's get back to the grid. Uh, let's change it to 120 transparency like all of the other maps. I like to keep everything uniform and keeping it clean on aisle 17, Martha Stewart style. I know you guys are probably wondering, what the heck does that mean? I'm going to type feet in there, and then I'm going to lock it up. And Forest Moon 1 is done. I'm going to go to Forest Moon 2. You know what I would mean if if you're familiar with my my personal channel i always like to say keep it clean on aisle 17. i like to keep all the windows and you know nice strategical order and now oh yeah I'm, I'm a big nerd when it comes to uh setting up my my campaigns and stuff so i'm a huge nerd but it's all good so there we go set this bad boy up Zoom in, let's get uh, another grid, get a layer, set grid. Zoom in a little bit more, try to get right in the middle of everything, which I do a pretty good job with it. Oh, look at this. I love it when a plan comes together, folks. Look at that, we are now four for four. We're batting a thousand for uh, getting these maps all set up. So let's let's type feed in here. And then let's go ahead and adjust the transparency down to 120. We'll hit OK. We'll lock this bad boy back up. 
And now let's go to the giant starship one. We will create an image record and resize it. You can hold down control and just kind of resize it that way too. Uh, let's see. And then just keep your mouse pointer on the map and you can just zoom in because if you have the mouse pointer over here, it, it, you'll notice that it will kind of bar it for you, but that's just because of the, it's set to where the, the mouse pointer is. So, all right, let's uh, see if we're going to be five for five here. We're going to set another grid here. Oh, uh, this is looking good. Look at that. It just snapped right into place. Wow. We are five for five, ladies and joins. We are five for five. All right, so let's uh, rename the suffix to feet. And I want to change the transparency to 120. And there we go. We'll lock this map up We're five for five. And now the last map that I'm going to be doing today. And it didn't take that long. It only took what about about 30 minutes or so. And that was with full explaining and everything else. And, you know, if you were doing this on your own and, you know, stuff like that then you could do this a lot quicker without all of the explaining and stopping and stuff like that. So, all right, let's see if we can get six for six. Wow, I think we did. Look at that, six for six, perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. All right, so 120, I'm gonna, Change the suffix to feet, lock her back up, and uh, we're good to go. Look at that, perfect. I got six perfectly gridded maps. So there we go. And I like to rename them to, you know, if I have some type of random encounter, I can just say, okay, I need a forest moon. And here we go. I just click it open, open up my combat tracker, throw some aliens down on there, throw the party members in there, generate the encounter and good to go. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what kind of questions are in chat. J-Rock, am I running the beginner box I worked on recently soon? Uh, yeah, um, I'm looking for a couple more players. So once I find a couple more players, J-Rock, then I'll run the beginner box set. So uh, I, I think I have two players now. And yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping to start running this by maybe the middle of September. So I'm in no rush. So... I want to make sure I've got the right players. I want to make sure they're familiar with Starfinder already. Even though it is the beginner box set, I want them to be familiar with Fantasy Grounds, etc. So it's taken a, taken a little while to find some players, but that's all good. Dark Darth, Dark Darth, Chess X do good quality dice. Yes, they do. I have a bunch of sets. In fact, about... I don't know, about five years ago, Chessex sent me a whole case of variety dice sets. And I was giving them away uh, on my streams that I would do on my personal channel. And I think a case had 32 of the plastic containers. And I, I gave them all away. So, But that was cool. It was nice of Chessex to do. But that was probably five or six years ago and it was an awesome i mean there was a there was a set of steel dice in there there were all kinds of beautiful marble dice and solid colors transparent and yeah, it was i was like man i want to keep all these dice for myself but <laughs> it's like man these are nice but the grand the grand prize was the uh, the metallic dice. They were so heavy, I wouldn't even roll them on my table. They would they would like leave little dent marks on your table because they were actually really heavy. So let's see. So feel free to ask your questions, folks. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Mac Dork, yeah, clean up on aisle seventeen. That was a, a Fantasy Grounds classic tutorial that I did some years back. 
<laughs> uh, Mart keeping it clean Martha Stewart style that was the name of the uh the tutorial I may do another one of those updated for unity and kind of show off uh low cares windows saver I might do that so Lord Gwid, what's going on buddy how's it going man you keeping busy Gwid? J Rock, you ask for dice skins every week. They've been talked about. We just haven't uh, made any determinations yet. We're we're gonna charge you forty nine ninety five for every dice skin set you want. J Rock. Everyone else will get it for cheaper, except for J Rock. So <laughs> I'm just kidding, J Rock. I'm just kidding. Oh, Dark Darth, you got your beginner box. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the the Starfinder beginner box set is beautiful, Dark Darth. It really is. Uh, I actually ordered that for my son over the weekend. So that's that's what he's getting for Christmas. Because I've got it coming here. And then for Christmas, I'm sending him a whole box. I got like four or five more. DD five books for him. I've got a bunch of pre uh, unpainted miniatures for him. Uh, I've got some more sets of dice I'm going to send him. The Starfinder core book. No, I sent that to him already. Maybe I'll send him the, the Packed Worlds book or something like that. I got an extra one of those books. So, in fact, yeah, that was uh, I got I got two of the same book one time in in my subscriptions. I got two of the same packed packed worlds. I said, "Hey, you want me to send this back?" And they said, "No, keep it. It was our mistake." I'm like, "All right, cool." So yeah, thanks, thanks, Paizo. Let's see, J Rock's asking for uh, animated maps. That's a possibility too. No, no ETA. We haven't even talked about that. You know, Carl's still kind of working on on lighting, kind of working on a couple of the small bug issues with lighting and uh, Ecluder. So, but I'm sure Carl will be moving on pretty soon, doing something else. And plus, I believe Steven's going to start working on the core program too. So, plus with John. So, and plus we have a couple couple of uh, new folks as well. We've got Joshua's doing. Uh, I think Joshua's working on a forge though. So. Well, that's cool. You got your box set. Bell, you got yours also? That's cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful box set. It really is. Martha Stewart stuff is overpriced. Do you think so, J-Rock? <laughs> you want them for free because you request them every week? <laughs> Lord Gwyn, you want me to adopt you? Ugh. <laughs> uh, you know you're older than I am, but you like how I do Christmas? Yeah. I used to give my son. Usually I just give my son money. Because, you know, it's like you buy a gift, and I know people get all sentimental with gifts, and, oh, you know, why do you just give money? That's the easy way out. And, you know, that's uh, what my son's mother would say all the time. But I'm like, you ask you ask our son what he likes, and I bet you he'll say money. So that, that's why I, I send my son money most of the time. But the last couple of years since I've been in El Paso, I've just been sending him boxes and boxes of of D D stuff and all kinds of other miniatures and games and stuff like that. Dice and yeah. Uh J Rock, that's a good question. Uh I think they may be pods. They don't look like trees, they look like a pod. Yeah, they don't look they definitely don't look like trees, that's for sure. That looks like a broken obelisk there. That'd be cool to add into uh something in with the adventure. Yeah, but these are these are definitely not trees. That's that's for sure. What is this? It looks like maybe like an entrance to a hive or something. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, these these maps are beautiful though. These are what's that? What is that? Oh, it's like something, uh, some type of machinery over here. Looks like home plates there. 
What is that? There's like all kinds of little hidden gems. Really got to look at your maps before you put a player on it because they'll say, well, what is this thing here? And what is this? And what is that? And then you got to start making stuff up on the fly, which I'm okay with doing that. So, but yeah, it's another broken obelisk. That Now that looks like a broken tree. That's for sure. That definitely looks like a broken tree. Yeah, I think this looks like a cave entrance down here. Sort of like to maybe maybe the maybe a hive or something. Now that looks really cool. Yeah, let's take a look at these other maps. So that was uh Forest Moon 1. Here's Forest Moon 2. This is a beautiful map also. And you could use these for fantasy. I mean, you don't have to just use them for for sci-fi. Yeah, all kinds of down trees here. Wow, it looks like a Looks like a bunch of lumberjacks hit this place up pretty good. There's uh some rocks. All the trees are down though. I don't I don't I see some shrubs, but that's about it. This is a cool rock outcropping up here. You can tell you can definitely tell it's elevated. I like that. That's a nice looking map. But yeah, these are the Starfinder flip mats from from Paizo. I've got like Seeing that Starfinder's been out for four plus years, I mean, there must be 25, 30 flip mats out now. And plus, they've got a bunch of tile sets also, six, grit, six square by six square tile sets. And uh, they've got expansions for them. And I'd like to do, actually, I would like to do some of those maps as well. The little flip tiles and I'd, I'd like to i'd actually like to add all of those images into here and then basically make a module to where i can kind of drop drag and drop them down and have the line of sight built into it already and stuff like that so so lord wood said 100 percent kids want money yeah for sure i i totally agree i know when i was a kid i wanted once i got to a certain age i wanted money i didn't care about anything else i wanted to go to the i wanted to go to the little jiffy mart down the road which is like a equivalent to like a 7-eleven i wanted money so i could go play video games and you know play 1942 and you know eat hot dogs and drink coke that's what i wanted to do <laughs> uh, i learned real quick what money was worth let me tell you yeah tarask entrance what's up bane good to see you bane good to see you bud do what kind of favor for you on that moon moon map j rock what do you want some metallic dice or something like that some you mean to put some dice skins on the map for you <laughs> yeah. uh, definitely a nice map though these maps are beautiful so let's take a look at the other ones let's take a look at the uh the crash i this is one of my more favorite maps for starfinder flip maps i i really like this i i definitely want to use this now this starship has seen better days that is for sure and this thing it must have been going the speed of light to bury itself <laughs> look at that only the butt end of the ship is sticking out of the dirt i had a couple of other pieces parts kind of laying around this is a this is a beautiful map what is that that's like a little little cactus or something like that looks like little venus fly traps i don't know you could do that yeah, I like the little subtle details on these on these piezo flip mats. What is that? It's like a piece, like a door or something like that. So once you have, you know, it's like this is a, the flip mats. There's two maps on every side. So this is map one, obviously, of the starship crashed. And then map two is the interior of, of the, the ship. I love that. I think this is awesome. And then look at this. Here's like a, here's like something that kind of burrowed away from it. So you could actually take this into a whole new map, you know, and you could actually, you could actually do something with the hive on this. 
So yeah, this looks really cool. Zoom in, yeah, look at this. Yeah, the the ship has seen better days. That's that's for sure. Yeah, but just think, you know, you could you could get in there and salvage all the tech and all the the uh, the UBP points and stuff like that. Oh yeah, you could salvage all that. This would be a great encounter. Wow, look at that. There's the ship's core too. Either this is, I think this might be either this is either the ship's core or the drift engine. Yeah, and you could if you could get that thing working, wow, well, you could uh I don't know, there may be no repair on that. <laughs> I don't know. I think this ship may have uh set sail. But you may be able to may be able to salvage some stuff, which is cool. And look at all those broken computer monitors and yeah, I like this map. This is really nice. Those walls are just all tore up. Ooh, is that a what's that? Oh, that's like a look at that, a pile of like supplies. Ooh, is that a captain's chair? That looks like a captain's chair, doesn't it? This must be the kitchen. Yeah, this is the kitchen. Look at all the broken plates and look at there's your uh your replicate your replicator. You can just say replicator, make me a double quarter pounder with cheese with bacon. And this thing would just say, your order is ready. <laughs> and you just open it up and take your double quarter pounder with cheese and bacon on there. Yeah, this definitely looks like the uh, kitchen. I love it. Yeah, cool map. Yeah, but I definitely like this map. I definitely, that's why I got this thing resized. I'm going to have some, definitely going to have some fun with this one. And there's an entrance way right there. So is that entrance on the first one? Should be about right here. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Wow. Maps are accurate. I like it. Nothing I like better than an accurate map. So let's take a look at the uh, the giant starship. This is another nice one that I wanted to, to use also. Now, this kitchen looks a lot better. This looks like a... What was a... What was Whoopi's character in the next generation? What was her her character's name? I could see Whoopi being in here serving drinks. I think she was a bartender, wasn't she? Something like that. Yeah, but this looks nice. I like this. All the all the uh, the crew quarters and stuff like that. I like how they're not identical and are just kind of set up differently, right? Kind of looks good. Oh, look at that. This must be a oh this this must be the bridge number one get to it number one yeah good stuff and giant starship number two get out of my seat number one yeah this looks nice too. This has got to be the drift engine right here. This is the power core drift engine. One of the two. Number two. Number one. I think it's number two. Yeah, this, this has got to be the drift engine, I think. I don't know. Whatever. It's whatever you want it to be. It could be the replicator if you wanted it to be. Yeah, this is actually a pretty, pretty nice ship layout. I was thinking about using this ship layout for my uh for my for my game that I'm gonna be running. Ooh, there's a couple of uh workstations here. In fact, I made a random encounter last week that uh, included this map. I got remember I got some remember I got some space goblins that are hiding here. And they've got their goblin junk cycle. And when I run my adventure, I'm going to do the starter box set first. And then after the starter box set, which is in Absalom Station, which is like a, like a massive space station, then they're going to have to go from Absalom Station to the planet of Akaton. Which I believe the planet of Akaton is where the Dark Elves live. I think 
It's either it's either the Dark Elves or the Kasatha. I believe it's it might be the Kasatha. I'm still brushing up on Starfinder lore, so but there's a lot of lore for Starfinder. Let me tell you, holy cow! So yeah. They're, so they're going to go from Absalom Station to a, a massive junkyard on Akaton. And uh, they're going to need to find uh, some part or some robot that's been there. So, um, yeah, so I've got the goblins here. They need to get to that. I guess they, how, how I made up the encounter last week, they, they looked at, they hacked into the manifest here on the ship. And they saw that they were going to Akadin. So they were going to a junkyard. So they saw that and they're like, oh, we got to get our job, our goblin junk cycle fixed. So I've got a goblin junk cycle in here and some goblins. And they're going to try to work a deal with the players. If the players even find out that they're there. So but that, that, that'll be pretty cool. But this is, a, this is definitely a great map. So, but yeah, these are the, the Paizo flip mats. So, all right, let's take some questions. Yeah, j Rock number two, and get to the chopper. Is it gone? Uh, gone and yeah. I wish she was on there more. I like I like Whoopi Goldberg. She's funny. She says what she likes to say, and I like that about her because I'm kind of the same way. So. Bane says, uh, oh, the replicator says, I'm sorry, I'm a generic replicator and do not have the ability to produce trademarked products. <laughs> that would be so funny to tell the players, wouldn't it, Bane? I'm going to have to take a mental note on that, Bane. That is such a great idea, and I hope you don't mind if I use that if the players decide to use a replicator and ask for, you know, something with a copyright <laughs> or a trademark or something like that. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Uh, J rock. I, I, I think that's, I think it's, I, I thought it was a hot tub. I thought it was a hot tub at first, but now that I look at it, it looks like sort of like a, like a botanist lab or something like that. I mean, it 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 looks like a botanist lab. So I I I think it may be water for all of the plants and stuff. But if my players want to use it as a hot tub, I'm all for it. Go for it. I'm not going to stop them one bit. I wouldn't stop them at all. Doctor Anik, yes, a great map. Oh, J-Rock, yes, Aposte. That is where the elves are at. That's right. The Drow. That's right. So it must be the Kasatha, I believe. I believe the Kasatha are on are on Akadin. So uh Mac Dork, what's going on, Mac? Any word now? Carl's still working on line of sight. Carl's still fine-tuning line of sight. He's still fine-tuning uh, lighting sources, so no word on that. It's been talked about. Sounds been talked about. It's at the. It's towards the top of the list, but we don't have any kind of we don't have any kind of date or AT, ETA on that Mac. Five hundred thousand quid. That's a lot of quid, bud. I'm from the United States and that I know that's a lot of quid. That's like five million US dollars right there. Five hundred thousand quid. That's like five or ten million US dollars. <laughs> I exaggerate, but yeah. Alright, so uh last call for questions, folks. I'm gonna be calling it here pretty soon. I have got Fantasy Grounds Fridays to do here in about another 55 minutes. So you can uh, join me then. And I'll be doing a Q&A and stuff like that over there today. So uh, Credits, Bane. 
Starfinder uses credits. And you can get like little cred sticks and you can divide the credits up however you want it. Sort of like an ATM card. That's how I, that's how I read about cred sticks and you know took from cred sticks about reading from them. So the last call, folks. Thanks everybody for joining me. Hope y'all learned something today. If you didn't know how to resize a map and get a grid to line up the first time, let's real quick before I head out. Let's uh, let's let's load one more map into all right let's see where's my desktop i want this i just want any any map let's just grab this uh forest moon map i think that was one that needed to be trimmed wasn't it i think so yeah it was so let's throw this into my folder All right, so I've got that on my folder. I'm going to refresh it. Refresh my assets. Go into my images. And I want to... There it is right there. Without resizing. It may, I may not need to resize maps anymore. I may have to uh, kind of manipulate it and stuff, but we'll see. Let's see. Have you all seen all the tutorials that I've put on the YouTube website? Holy cow. There's been like 20, 30 tutorials put on there. All right. So this is just a raw file. It It's not resized or anything. So let's, uh, let's see how getting a grid on here is. Should be pretty easy. Uh, close. Let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks solid. Wow, look at that. Don't even. Eh, a little off here. Looks like it's two ninety nine by two ninety nine. Let's change it to a uh, three hundred by three hundred. I bet that may go ahead and solve the problem. Wow, look at that. It pretty much does. Look at that. Yeah, in the upper right-hand corner where your grid is, you can always kind of tell. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is a great thing about Unity. You couldn't do this with Classic. And then, of course, I like to uh, kind of tone down on 120. Now look at that. I didn't even have to resize it. But anyways... I wanted to do some map resizing anyway for you because I'm sure they're not always going to end up being perfect like this. <laughs> so, Because sometimes you can have some maps that are the squares are like each square is like hand drawn. Yeah, just throw that map away if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, let me get out my ruler, draw some lines. So... <laughs> Oh, it's so good. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, if uh, Last question. If I had a replicator, what would I order? Food-wise or anything? I guess it would have to be a pretty small replicator as well. Hmm. What would I order? Oh, uh, I know what I would order. I would order... A full rack of ribs from Sonny's Barbecue in Florida. I miss Sonny's Barbecue. We don't have Sonny's Barbecue here in Texas. So I, if I had a replicator, I would ask it, Replicator, I would like to have a full rack of mm, baby back ribs with the sweet and honey barbecue sauce. Uh, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, and a Mountain Dew. That's what I would do. So I would ask it. It would have to have the the sweet honey sauce on it. So, Oof. all right, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out. Totally appreciate it. Everybody have a great weekend of gaming, and I'll see you in about fifty minutes. 
for Fantasy Grounds Friday as well. I'll be doing a Q&A. So bring your questions, and I will be answering them to the best of my ability. So thank you again, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this uh, game prep session all about resizing maps, not needing to resize maps with Fantasy Grounds Unity because the tools are so awesome and how to set a grid. So thanks, everybody, for watching. See you next Friday. Happy gaming. Bye-bye.